Hi guys, today we'll be going over on how to run an ELISA. The example that I'll be using is screening for hybridoma specificity. Um, so when you're running an ELISA, you need to have a well to do your experiment in. So the first step is to add an antigen, and we add this in order to coat the well. Um, the antigen that I'm going to be using is HCG and you put this in and it just it coats the well so this is the first step is coating the well once you've coated your well with HCG you have to block up the empty spaces with an inert substance and you can use something like albumin it just has to be inert and the spaces need to be blocked up and once you've blocked up the spaces and you've added your HCG, the next step is to add your hybridoma supernatant. And a supernatant is basically, if you have some sort of like a reaction that you're going to do in a test tube and it has some sort of precipitation reaction and you put it in a centrifuge and it separates and you have your liquid and you at the top and you have your solid at the bottom after it's been put through the centrifuge a supernatant would then be the liquid you would want the liquid to go in and not the solids that's what a supernatant is so you have a tube this after it's been centrifuged the solids are at the end this is the liquid the liquid goes in that is the supernatant and then that's the third step and when we go to the fourth step, the fourth step is to wash the plate free of anything that's not binding specifically. After you've washed the plate, you have to add your secondary antibody, which is tagged with an enzyme. And then you, so now you add your antibody. You add that in now. And this antibody is going to be tagged and you wash the plate again and then your last and final step is to add a substrate that when it's converted by the enzyme it will produce a colored product and that colored product will determine whether or not hybridomas are present